Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Askins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. I have had a lot of requests to do a Lamag video over um, the uh, shopping system inside Lumber. I'm going to, and, and, and trust me, I have said no to this multiple times, and I will explain why. <coughs> Hopefully this will be enough to satisfy everybody's uh, let's make a game want, but at the same time, this is a very complicated system, okay? And I'll explain all of it, kind of. This is Tom. Hello, Tom. Tom is one of many shops that's inside Lumber Tycoon 2. And what you do is you pick up an item from over here, like so, and you drop it on his countertop and you talk to him. And he has a dialogue. Buy this for this? Yes or no? And you click yes. It subtracts the money, lets you purchase it, and then there you go. And then you can press E on this thing and like set it down. So that's what we'll do. And that's the, the basics for how that system works, okay? So let's just drop that off like that, good. Now, here's the details of like how this works. <clears throat> Excuse me. Inside this store somewhere, and it's probably on Tom himself, there is a system at play. This system causes these items to regenerate. And um, they, they also cause these items to take ownership. So right now, all of these items that are inside this shop are ownerless. So if I touch one, if I pick it up, boom, it now has a two minute timer saying that I'm the owner of that object. So if I drop it, it's gonna stay there for like a minute or two minutes or something like that, and it won't despawn until then. Now, <clears throat> for items that move that don't have an owner, say, the, the, like these two over here on the left, boom, I'm gonna knock them off. They don't have an owner, so they, they despawn very rapidly, and that happens with all of them. Boop, boop, see? Now, if I were to grab the one of those, grab it and throw it off the edge, because I touched it, it now has an ownership property, right? And that system is one system of many that is working inside the shop, um, the, the spawning inventory. The other one is if you take an item that is not bought out of the store, it does disappear rapidly, quickly, boop. Now, we also know that if you drop it through one of these little cracks over here, like if you drop it down through there and you go pick it up, you can walk south with it. So it's only whenever you cross a certain spot out to the front here, right? And we know it's on a vertical line because we can go east and west with it all the way up to a certain point and go north, all the way south, go north. Anyhow, that is one system for the inventory. Now here's the next thing. All of these boxes that are in here, these are all buy boxes, okay? These are, these are, don't serve the same purpose inside the world. So this box here, I'm gonna go purchase it, right? Boop. And yes, I'll purchase it. This box here and this box right here are two different boxes. They may look the same, but if I press E on this one, basic hatchet, if I press E on this one, it opens the box, okay? So, uh, let's go ahead and purchase this again. Boop. Yes, and got it. So when I purchase this box, the, uh, the buy box disappears and the purchased box appears. In the exact same spot, exact same thing. Um, used to, like whenever you had it laying out here like this, you could see the other box uh, drop through the floor and the new box would appear where this box was. <clears throat> kind of a cool system. Anyhow, that's the next part to how the buying system works. Now, what this also means is Tom has a script on this countertop. Oh, excuse me, I burped. Ugh. We had chili. That's good. Uh, it, it means that 
Tom knows when there's an item on here. Because if I talk to Tom and there's no item on there. Come on, Tom. Find something you like and put it on the countertop. And you take something and you put it on the countertop. Hey, I found something. Would you want to buy this? Mm, you say no. Oh, sorry, mate. So, there's an entire dialogue that goes on with him inside here. Now, what happens is he's got to know how much each one of these boxes is. So, the property of the box itself has what is stored inside this box. It has what price it is, what the name of this is. All of it's stored here. So, all Tom's got to do is just read off those properties, say what it is, and then the system of monetary value happens. So, <clears throat> it checks to see if you have enough up here, right? And then it goes back and checks to see if that's enough to cover the item. And if it is, it comes back and subtracts it from your thing and then performs the actual sell of the item over here. So, in order for me to demonstrate that in a Lamag video, we would have to come up with the money system first and foremost. We would have to come up with a scoreboard to display your money. We would have to come up with a shop that drops things onto the ground or drops things into place inside the store. You would have to come up with a grab system so you can actually grab the items. You would have to come up with the individual item stuff. All, like there's so much to this system. And you guys are like, just make the system. Just just make the, make the lumber buy system. <clears throat> Break it down. There's a lot here, okay? And I, I, I think a lot of people don't appreciate how much work went into this system alone. Now that's not even getting into like how the trees generate and how everything works inside this game. But I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not going to uh, do a Lamag on how that one system works. We might do it over the course of Lamag videos, but to say, hey, just show us how to make a system. It's there's a lot there. So, um, what was I doing? Let's see. Let's let's continue on over here. <clears throat> Did I leave off here last time? Oh wait, can I? Is this low piece? Hello. Boom. Nice. Okay. So let's cut this one off and drop it there. This is gonna look so good. <clears throat> I kind of wanted like a log cabin kind of feel on here. And I thought, yeah, that would look cool. It looked kind of kind of good. Uh, I'm sleepy. I'm not gonna lie. I I laid down on the couch earlier and I just about fell asleep. Oh, I uh. I went ahead <clears throat> and skipped my ketosis, my keto for today. So I got to have chili. Oops, that was the wrong one. Hold on, come, come back over here. Let's get, get you in the right one. I got to have some chili and I got to have red lobster butter biscuits. Mmm, so good. So good. Anyhow, not keto friendly at all, but I don't care. It was, it was so good. Mm. So I'm pretty happy today. Having a good day. <clears throat> and I hope you're having a good day. I know it's Monday and a lot of people are like, Oh no, Monday! But that's fine. If you don't like Mondays, you don't have to like Mondays. But for me, I actually kind of like getting back to work. I like getting the kids back in school and just the start of the week. It's good. It's good for me. I like it. Now did I do that right? I think I may have messed that up. Hold on. Did I? Did I do that right? Did I? Shouldn't these come forward one? Hold on. I think they need to come forward. Like that. Maybe. No, it looks fine. Let's move that back. Okay. Yeah, 
And it steps fine. It's it's fine. It's fine. I was being all weird. <clears throat> all right, let's go with the uh, correlated walls. Let's go correlated, corrugated, cor cor uh, correlated, coagulated. <laughs> Corrugated wall stub. Corrugated, corrugated, corrugated. Do I not have the tall corrugated wall? I got fence. Wait, do I not have... I don't have it. I've got the short corrugated wall. That's not the... The big coagulated wall. Oh, here it is. Huh. Wonder why that looks funny. Okay. Are we gonna be able to fit this all in here? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. That's off by like what? Two units? One unit? <coughs> I think that's one unit. Oh, I'm off one unit over here too. Okay, okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. And then, should be able to move this over there. Then we move this over here. That. Over there. Hmm. Okay. Uh, should we have rotated, rotated these? Yeah, let's rotate these. Uh, move. Rotate, rotate. Move. Good. There we go. So then there was a, <coughs> there was a short one. Now we should be able to fit a door in there, right? Yeah! <laughs> My dad sent me a... a thing. Uh, it said, OH YEAH! And had the Kool-Aid guy, Kool guy on it. It was really good. <clears throat> um, what color should the walls be? Well, what would a nice color be? Do we need, like, walnut? Or maybe cherry? <gasps> Ooh, yeah, we need to do cherry. Is that cherry? Let's do a cherry house. Oh, that's pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. And then we could always do like a, a gold roof. Ooh, that'd be nice. Make it look like the the lumber. It kind of look like a, the, the lumber house. There we go. There are plenty of cherry trees. In fact, there's a... Cher Cherry Grove. Have you guys have you guys been to Cherry Grove? Do you know about Cherry Grove? I mean, everybody should know about Cherry Grove, but I'll go show them just in case. Let me let me take this back because I kind of balanced that on there just perfectly. <coughs> there we go. Take that over there. So Cherry Grove. Um, if you're on the mainland, it's just right up here in the little corner. And th this was one of my favorite spots whenever I first started. Whenever I discovered this, and it's it's just this little place. It's like a little grove of cherry trees. It's where the cherry trees grow uh, abundantly. And they're so pretty. It just looks good. So, anyhow. <coughs> That's the cherry wood grove. I love Lumberland. One of the best places I love to play. Should, should I expand my property? No, it doesn't matter. We're doing great. Um, three. 
Let's go down to... Oh, one too many. 1.2, 1.2. All right, here we go. Choppy chop, chop. I'm gonna need more light. More lights all over the place. <clears throat> oh, by the way, my wife uh, picked up some really cool coffee for us. So I've got these different flavored coffees. The one I'm drinking right now is uh, coconut, coconut mocha flavor from Donut Shop. Mmm, it's really good. It's like super good. I oh we're at sixteen minutes. You know what? I'm probably you know I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make this a short night tonight. Let me get all these thrown in, and then uh, I'm actually going to I'm gonna go jump off. I know, I know. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. It's just gonna be a quick video. That's all. That's all. There's plenty of, of videos in in my archive. If you must have 30 minutes, you can go find plenty there. And uh, I think it's over 3,000 videos now. That's a lot of videos, Code. 3,000 videos. And I figured something out. In um, 2027, my... YouTube channel will be 20 years old. Wow. My, my channel was started back in, uh, what, 2007? <clears throat> 2007. How many people uh, in, inside my chat were born before 2007? Inside, inside the comments, not chat. <laughs> There's no chat on videos. Only if it's a live stream. Or maybe... A premiere. Come on, come on. Chuppy chop, 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 chop. Boom. Boom. I do want to finish those walls. I just realized I want to finish those walls. Whoa, 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 whoa. Going all crazy. Going taser crazy. Going to have a taser party. What's a taser party? That's where you and a bunch of your cop friends get around and you grab your tasers and you tase each other. Bzz, bzz. I don't know. Boop. A boop. Oh no. Well, that's fine. I was thinking about changing the color of the, the window or the, the door. Boop. There we go. Uh, I'll split this in two. And then split this in two. Oh, I guess put that in two. There we go. A little bit more progress, not not too much, but you know what? We got uh, got enough cherry there to probably do the rest of the walls, and then uh, I can start working on the inside, get some lights, get some furniture, hook up with the kitchen, and make a bedroom, and then we'll have ourselves a little log cabin house kind of thing. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Askins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice if you want to go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. I love you for that. And I hope you were able to follow along, because that's like what I say every single time, but I really do mean it. It's your choice to subscribe. It's great if you do. 80% of you are just going to watch anyway. So, love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. True.
want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.